and that atlas drop is dead immediately gonna fall down here the evac is gone and this actually might mean mixer's gonna win this game in fact yeah probe taps out too much damage every single spot nice bit of chaos yeah, but right in the red he is of course uh one of the best if not the best well yeah the, the, we got top two vanguard players here it's mixu bottom left in the blue he's not mixu he's the other vanguard player that uh you know he's a thought leader on how vanguards want to play it's probe look at that we can see right down there we can see that it is in fact probe And of course, with the overcharge here, you overcharge as quick as possible to get the barracks out very quickly, but also just to kind of speed up your mining pretty quickly. There's a ton of efficiency that can happen. But look at this. It's going to be a dog opener coming out of, of Mixu in this first game. Getting this biokinetics lab really quickly is not, by the way. Oh, uh, this is so silly. Um, it, It's not, by the way, to go and get a really quick kinetic redirection off. It doesn't really do a ton for you. Instead... It's to make sure you get gear grind. It's to make sure you get Viridium Claws. And that is a 80 second investment, by the way. That, like, that is a significant investment to get both upgrades up. And I, to be honest, I don't know how much of a fan I am of the scout opener in this mirror. I think it's better, certainly, than, than against Infernals, because that, that's really bad now. But it, you have kind of this limited timing. And certainly, you know, scouts are pretty bad against Lancers. They can maybe get a good surround, but it's not great. Uh, the, the really goal, the end goal here you get for this is a nice little bit of a surround. But again, notice that the Lancer's taking very little damage. I love what he's doing, though. Body blocking out the fruit to make sure that the Lancer does not get to heal up and that scouts do. But the nice thing about this is you can start to close out the map a little bit. You can get yourself some of these the resource camps because bonus. Uh, these resource camps, of course, are light show that anywhere but um they're they're light units so the scouts with virilium claws shred them very very quickly which is again it's pretty nice to make sure that you have that uh you can go and dive on top of bobs and make something happen there's a wall here you know you, you, the scouts aren't getting in there are lancers on the map and again the scouts don't really kill lancers so it is just always a little bit awkward we have yeah okay so gear grind and virilium claws are both done which is of course bonus damage and also the uh, yeah, there, there we go. I was like, I read that as damage. I'm like, it reduces damage by 25%. That's not how that works. But yeah, it's the slow. It's the bonus damage. 16 damage versus light. But for right now, the scouts haven't gotten a ton. And again, scouts don't fight Lancers all that well at all. Not not really. Uh, Lancers are not light units. So it is a little bit awkward. And um, apparently these... Sh oh, man, I thought these only showed up when you had the upgrade. Apparently not. So... Lancers are here. We're going to have, of course, overcharged bobs on the natural drop in a sentry post, but sentry post without anything is uh, not really all that great. So scouts are going to try to get on top of this, and they're going to cut away as well as they can. There's a repair on it. Ah, that's what it's for. Repair to make sure the scouts get repaired right back on up. But for now, these lancers are just kind of untouchable. They're going to find this nice position. They're going to splash damage on top of everything. Scouts are doing what they can, but the answer is what they can do is really not a lot here. Uh, yeah, they're getting pulled back, and yes, they're getting repaired, and there, there is that, but oh, that's gonna die, and with another Lancer here, I mean, this just doesn't feel good whatsoever, the natural's done, but uh, mining out of this is gonna be really hard, now there's no overcharge either, so everything is going wrong, and for those of you paying attention, Mixu is, of course, the red player, he's the scout player, Probe, of course, he is the blue player, he's the one that has all these lancers behind the Luminite line just being as obnoxious as possible. And again, with the scouts, it is somewhat okay. And it, like, it, it is okay because you can repair them off this repair turret. It's not the end of the world. Like, theoretically, eventually these lancers die. And actually the bobs aren't really dying all that quickly either because, you know, they, they have this wonderful thing called overcharge. So the lancers are starting to fall down here, finally. Finally, this is getting cleaned up, but it has denied mining for quite a while. It's been a lot of workers off mining. It seems like at the end of the day, yeah, this is going to get cleaned up. But behind this, 8 out of 12, this natural has been done for Probe for quite a while. He's had more production. Uh, he's got well, his own kinetic redirection on the way. He's got this own biokinetics lab going pretty quickly. And Mixu sold his, right? He just wanted it for gear grind. He just wanted it for Virilium Claws and... Could have sworn Lancers counted as biological units, but apparently they weren't getting slowed down. So, there's that. 
But now, of course, Mixu is allowed on the map. His scouts didn't really do much of anything. And there's, there's a reason I talked about why I don't really like this opener. I don't think it's as good as it was because, well, Viridium Claws was nerfed into the ground with a good reason. He, oh, being able to build a couple dogs and have them, what I think it was like three shot, have them three shot workers was just not a good feeling. Eh, it wasn't quite three shot. No, it's plus 16 is not three shotting him. But anyway, like, you kill, you kill workers extremely quickly. So, to make that happen, it's a little bit of pain. But now, here come the scouts and the lancers as well. But there's a buzzsaw turret. And buzzsaw, I mean, you no, know, this is not going to happen. So, kinetic redirection is done. Quick draw hustles on the way. And, and that's another benefit of, of the way that probe is opened. He's developed his economy faster, which means he can develop his tech faster. He's less committed to this aggression early on. And in general, that just means that, yeah, he's going to get his third base eventually. Sure, fine. But he's got this army that is just something that it is difficult for the army of, of Mixu to really handle. But Mixu, by the way, his third base is up much faster because of that map control. Because after the initial aggression, that was five dead Lancers that did take some power out of Probe's playbook. So that meant the map was, of course, Mixu's. Which meant he was able to get a third base behind it. So we do have that more barracks on the way. Lots of barracks. There's a four racks play coming out of Mixu. And Probe has not started to really expand his production just yet. He's spending all of his money on getting that third base up. As uh, see the scout do whatever it can. Uh, getting the third base up. Getting these extras up. Building this higher quality army. But he's not going to have the same number of product, the, the same amount of production structures. Uh, not quite quickly enough. Tea is. Gotta pull the tea bag out of the tea without like burning my fingers off. Lovely. Excellent idea. But now we're starting to see more tech in this army, more exos as well. There's just this small expeditionary force. And remember, when we think about exos, uh, does Mixu have a biokinetics lab now? Does he? Where is this? Uh, where am I? Yes, he does have the biokinetics lab. I'm assuming that it has both upgrades because he's not researching it at the moment so I would I would assume that we have quick draw hustle I would assume that there is uh kinetic redirection but also fourth base done in a very forward position I never see this taken as the fourth base but if you think about it if you take this third it actually makes a lot of sense it means you're only really defending one area and with all the trees right here attacking from the high ground with atlases or something is a much later and be a little hard just with the range of it Oh, yeah. Also, yeah, they're exos. What am I saying? Of course, he has a biokinetic slab. He's got exos, and that is a requirement. Duh. Uh, but despite Probe developing his economy a little bit faster, despite Probe keeping uh, Mixu's economy back a little bit, this fourth base is much faster. The, the Luminite mining is really starting to skyrocket. So, what, eight, 8 out of 12? It's not. You really want 10. 11 out of 12 here. 9 out of 12 here. 9 out of 12. So, like, the. the the, the, the lines are not as efficient as possible. And in fact, Probe is 12 out of 12 on all three. So mining is a little bit weird with how this works uh, because it's not one-to-one. -one. Like for every, it's not like you, you add one worker and you get an additional 50 Luminite per minute. It's, it's not how that works. There are kind of some breakpoints where, where 10 workers out of 12 is far better than nine out of 12. And 12 out of 12 is like 50 Luminite per minute more than 10 out of 12. But like 10 out of 12 is like 50 Luminite more than 9 out of 12. So like you can get almost peak efficiency out of 10 with 10 out of 12. As uh, the scouts here, of course, with Viridium Claws, with everything else, they're going to try to slow this down. With Overcharge, it's not really going to do a ton. We we drop the scan to say, hey, guys, I'm here. I'm running away. Uh, but it will force Pro back for the moment as he takes a far more conservative fourth base is up. Apparently, this med tech can see over the trees. We can see it is just ever so slowly tickling the the bobs. Ten damage at a time. The tickle beam is, is great, but this XO is you know, it's gonna have to run away now. And I'm actually really enjoying uh, paying attention to this this vanguard this vanguard mirror because I have not seen a lot of them. I haven't really. I think this actually might be the first vanguard mirror I've cast, and uh, maybe maybe I cast a couple on the EGC TV, but nothing recently. So I haven't really had a chance to see what the mirror looks like. If Beomulf studied rocks, he'd be G Geomulf. And if I was a, if I abided, I'd be a Geodude. 
because the dude abides. Uh, there we go. So you toss by the, what my understanding, and again, I, I may be out of date on this. I may not have a as strong of an understanding because I don't really play Vanguard and haven't had a chance to see a ton. My understanding of this is you, like you build bio balls and they're great, and then you get into Atlas drops fairly quickly. Um, like the Atlas drops are really solid, but for now, this run by is nice. It's knocking out a couple bobs. You have to be careful that you're going to get kind of caught behind things. So that's not really going to happen. It seems like this Lancer uh, biokinetic redirection was actually never researched. So there's that. Meanwhile, Scout's on the right side. Mixu trying to cut. Oh, man. He's trying to cut Probe apart in a really nice way. Probe, he's kind of death balling around at the moment. He thought his opponent only had one army. So he brought his entire army onto the left side. This is a ton of dead bobs, even as they're overcharged, even as they have 100 armor, even as they take 50 odd percent less damage. It is still a significant position. Now he's not going to get the base. And the left side right here, more Exos on top of Lancers. I mean, the Exos take that fight. We don't have the upgrade. Is it even on the way? It is on the way right now, but Probe does not have the upgrade. These Exos are just, they, they, they cannot kite as quickly, even still. Even still, they're winning every single fight they want to take. Right side has to force back, but they're holding the high ground. And that Atlas drop is dead. Immediately going to fall down here. The evac is gone. And this actually might mean Mixu's going to win this game. In fact, yeah, Probe taps out. Too much damage every single spot. Nice bit of chaos. Makes you takes game one in the red. He's down a game in this series. It's probe. And the bottom left in the blue. He's up a game off just really some nice multitasking. His name is Mixu. So Mixu won last game despite not going for a scout or not going for or despite going for a scout build that really didn't get a lot done. But I will say my one criticism of Probe, and again, Probe is a fantastic player. He's been leading the way Infernals think about the game, or Vanguard thinks about the game in a pretty significant way. But if my, I have one complaint about him, it's up. Oh, there we go. Up. Oh, there we go. <laughs> There's the Luminite Flowers. Both players are just desperately searching around, looking for whatever value they can find uh, from these resource flowers, which is pretty funny. Uh, I've heard some people complain about it in the mirror. They say, ah, yes, whoever gets the flowers wins the game. Like, it defines too much of the early game. And maybe that's fair. Like, this is 40 Lumen. That's like, that's an extra bob pretty quickly. That, that's a pretty significant difference. Um, I would argue that it's more than the Therium. Whoever finds the Therium, if they, they get to, that, that's the big deal because it powers an upgrade or a quicker biokinetics lab or something. Um, and the Luminite's like, it, it's nice. Technically, an 80, 80 Luminite difference between Mixu and Theory in this game, but. You know, I, I don't think Luminite's nearly as bad, but it, okay. So what are we going to get here? Right? And that's really the question. We got this wall, Mixu or Probe doing this exact same thing he did in game one. And Mixu, he's doing the exact same thing he did in game one as well. And you know what they say, right? Is the, uh, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting the different results. That is the definition of insanity, but. In a game like Stormgate, you can say, well, you know what? I think I'm going to open the same. And then maybe I want to do something different. Or maybe I think I made a mistake somewhere and I can identify where that mistake was. And I can bring it back to take us to game number three. But for now, scouts are moving out on the map. There's a scout right here. It's aware of what's happening. Lancers are going to run to the other side. And remember, these Lancers in the game one got a ton of damage done. And actually, this is a little different. I'm sorry. Probe has opened double Lancer. Double Rax Lancer in this game number two. I want to say it was single Rax Lancer in game number one, which means even more chaos even more bloodshed and and yes yes i know what you're all say, all are thinking chaos and bloodshed they're not a revolution for shame bayo and they may not be a revolution but what they are is a lot of pain so the lancers are going to show up right now scouts are going to try to deal with them but again uh, even with brilliant claws lancers aren't light units so even with gear grind they're not really doing a ton here the bobs actually are fighting a little bit better but overcharge only lasts so long and eventually they're damage increase is not going to it's going to go away eventually their hp buffer their armor buffer is going to go away and we see this this repair turret once again but a scout will fall and really you do want that veteran see so for now we have we've had scouts on the map they're doing what they can to go and get as many as many creep camps as possible to find value right there and now looking for a bit of a surround if they can get a surround in the healing area that would be fantastic but that's not going to happen so the scout is getting repaired right back on up and Mixu's doing a really nice job again of making sure that he gets as much damage done to these lancers as possible while still repairing back but remember Lancers go in two by two. Lancers come in two by two at this point. There are a ton of them. They don't take a lot of damage. They do a lot of damage. They, they do splash damage, which is super important. 
and the mobs don't have an overcharge right now so they're not nearly as powerful remember the overcharge oh well, i guess they good cool down this thing is actually just so short and they're in the i think the surrounding is pretty solid not a ton of scouts have died at the moment more Lancers are going to start to show up, though, and that is going to maybe try to break a wall, break a way out of this surround at the end of things. Probe tries to find his way through, and all the scouts, most of them, are dead. Not a single Lancer has... Well, one Lancer. One Lancer has died. Not a ton of them, though. And now we're going to see a second turret go up. Uh, do we have a Lancer? Okay, so it's going to be for a Buzzsaw turret. And that should eventually break this down with repair, yeah. Probe's going to have to back up, but remember, economic damage... Ten, uh, I say economic damage. Probe's all in on this. He doesn't have a natural. He's very committed to this. Uh, Broken Crown was map one. Yes, poor Forian. Uh, Broken Crown was played on map one. Now we're moving on to map two, which is Secluded Grove. But yes, it is looking very good for Mixu at the moment. Yes, these these lances are a bit of a problem. They, they do have to be dealt with. But this is, again, this is all in. There's no natural on the way. A biokinetic Lab is going to go up right now. This is very much a one base build coming out of our uh, out of our red vanguard player and the healing cam actually is a big deal this does stabilize things quite a bit this does give probe a pretty significant round two if he didn't have that he'd have a bunch of low lancers that really he couldn't do all that much with but but because he has been able to heal oh, okay well he may, three hp is missing what well, one more tick there the lancer would have healed up but anyway uh because of this he now has like 10 lancers that he can go and attack in with that being said, Buzzo turrets are here, and it's hedgehogs. Interesting. Very interesting. Because, by the way, there's a biokinetics lab. I, it was made, salvaged, and made again. So hedgehogs are pretty cool, right? They do bonus damage to armored units, which I, actually, I don't know if uh, lancers count. Apparently, they do. I'm, they're actually doing decent damage to these lancers, and the more they pop out, you know, they just cut away. Ideally, they shouldn't be taking any damage. Meanwhile, scouts on the other side, there's there's a turret. So they're, they're not going to get a ton. And Probe has, I guess he, he really oversaturated his main base. So he does have this natural done now. There There is that. But again, these hedgehogs are just doing a lot. Yes, the Lancers do have an upgrade that makes them move faster when they take damage. But hedgehogs are faster even still. So I like this hedgehog idea. It's pretty cool. Yeah, as Anavel says, this is an awesome reactive play coming out of coming out of uh of mixed two in this game number two he built a lead and now with these i mean these hedgehogs are shredding the lancers it's not very hard to deal with and with the with the scouts as well you can maintain constant vision on them so they're gonna go try to hide in the health camp and hedgehogs aren't quite enough in enough uh, in quite enough number yet to go and cut things down so there's that they, they don't single burst to lancer just yet but they're getting there now the question how does the third base go Right, Probe's got his done. That's kind of the, the weird thing about if you take your natural quickly, you have the natural fairly quick, but taking the third base is a little bit slower. Still, overcharged bobs are going to be the thing as we're going to see a turret go down. Uh, Sentry Post is just going to get killed, actually. And now the Lancers are going to run forward with that kinetic redirection, trying to see if they can do something when they can. But again, the Hedgehogs are just in such large number, and the bobs aren't really dying because they're overcharged, so they're going to be fine. Maybe the repair is possible as well. And this Lancer count is just not big. New meta YouTube video with squiggly arrows inbound. YouTube commenter getting mad that I'm that I've uh, that I have lived to the day where there's a game that's an alpha. It's a game that's an alpha, and people are talking about the meta. This is dumb, and I'm like, the meta is just literally the meta is just what people do. Like, what? <laughs> Oh, this is actually super cool. Look at these scouts coming in from the backside. Hedgehogs do not do nearly as much damage to scouts as they do to lancers. They can get full surrounds on things. This is such a cool reactive play out of probe. This is actually... This is brilliant. This is so cool. This is shredding the hedgehogs in a way that I did not expect. Um, it's like... I, I mean, I guess the hedgehogs still kind of win, but not as badly. I played a game against JXP at 1-2-3 at one point. And he went, and I had a bunch of uh, a bunch of weavers, which are somehow light units, 750 HP, 125 white health. They have, but they're light units. So weavers don't do da a ton of damage to them. They don't have a ton of HP. And weavers are light units. And of course, scouts with Aurelian Claws do 16 bonus damage to light. And they, like, they shredded all my weavers. And I'm like, what the hell? What is this? It's very weird, but it works out really well. But yeah, no, I, I some guy on my YouTube channel like really complaining that I was like, ah, talking about the meta. I'm like, well, a bunch of people are playing this game even to the test. They're like, what do you want me to do? I, I don't know. 
Who would win, a little doggo or a demon monster? The answer is the little doggo. <laughs> the little robot doggo. Very, to be clear, they got laser freaking eyes. Is the, the official Stormgate things. But uh, where does Mixu go from here? I, I think he's established a decent position, somewhat. But he did lose some of those hedgehogs. That does slow him down. The scouts do prevent him from being on the map for the most part. He's got his third base up. We, uh... Ah, uh, Vulcans. Actually, no, no, this is for Atlas. It's never mind. Uh, we're getting to the next round of tech. We're, we're developing things. And I'm surprised we don't have a Therium reactor or a Therium refinery here. Again, ore is the most important thing when you're talking about Plan Mech. But we saw Bio versus Bio in game one. It worked out pretty well. We saw some really nice multitasking out of Mix 2. And now we get to see Mech versus Bio. Which is pretty cool. I, I'm a fan. I'm not going to complain about this whatsoever to see all these different play styles. Because I was told with, with pretty strong certainty. Oh, the scout's going to look at this round once again. But it seems like, yeah, no, the Vulcan here. Look at them. They're dead. They're going to fall down. Catapults on the or not catapults. Hedgehogs on the left side getting on top of this. This is a beautiful surround. And uh, Probe is going to lose everything. Every single unit goes down. Probe is dead. Mixu, two zeros Probe. Moves on to the loser's finals.